Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode, Let's Be Dragon Quest 9. We are in episode 12, and I stopped by in the inn before heading out to, um, Starfall Express. And apparently, I'm a celebrity. What did she find for me? <gasps> did we do the alchemy pot? That is fantastic. Now, as I mentioned in the last episode, you can make all sorts of gunk, and it's great, because this is how you get a lot of better equipment than what you have, assuming you have the right gear. So let's see if I can make anything. Yes. Meet the Master of Metamorphosis, the Magical Monarch of Mutation, and Tin Pot King of Alchemy himself, Crackpot. Yes, I know what it is, but let's see what it does. Sweet. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. Now, from this point of the game, and onward, as you check bookshelves, and certain quests, you get recipes, which help you make new things. Or you can try experimenting, but that's kind of tough. So what should we got? So let's use a recipe, all recipes. And see now on the top screen, shows you if you've made it, what you need to use, and uh, buy and sell price, just in case you're doing it just to make money. So, as you can see, you could probably make all the way I got a little more bub. But, uh. Yeah, so. Let's go ahead and make some items. So, we're gonna make a strong medicine right now. Just one for now. And voila. And this way, as you max out on getting. Medicinal herbs, you can beef them up and eventually make all sorts of cool stuff. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another strong medicine. Now I'm going to make a special medicine. And then I'm gonna make a superior medicine. It's pretty cool looking. See, I can't make that. So, let's make one of these. Kind of just making these so uh, it slowly fills up the book. Like as you make them, you, they add pictures of them. See now instead of it being mystery items, now it shows actual pictures and stuff, and gives you the info on the item itself. So I can't make that, but if I make one more strong antidote, I'm gonna a special antidote. Wait, is that right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a few of these actually. I'm gonna make six. And then I will make special antidotes. Cool. Wicked. Alright, no more recipes for me now. Now there are a ton of recipes in this game, and it'll take a while, trust me, to get all of them. So, that'll be a venture that will span us, um, you know, the entirety of the Let's Play. Anyways, now let's take a quick trip to Starflight Express. Fortunately, we have to go to that before we can head north, and so... 
I mean, it'd be nice if that was just enough to get the Starflight working again, but come on, guys, it's a, it's a video game. It's a Dragon Quest game. You know it's going to be a long adventure, and this isn't going to be enough to get it working. But it's all good, because we're here for the ride, right? See what happens. We're gonna do more work. Yeah, sure, let's try. I missed the door. Looks alright inside. I love her flapping. It's such a fun way to get around saying a bad word. It's because I'm magic. Nice. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Well, now I get to head north like I originally planned. Fortunately for us, it is not that far a trip. Now, the area we're heading to is called Coffin Well, which has multiple puns in it. And, um, but you'll see the meaning of the name when we get there. Now, unlike, we are heading north, but we're not heading north directly of Stormway, uh, Castletown. We are going right some. Almost as if we were going to the shore where I trained Olaf when I first created him. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check a look at the map. I was over here! It was fantastic! And now we're heading north. And yeah, I know. I didn't cut my nails. They're getting pretty long. But that's neither high nor there, and we are here. Oh. Well, why couldn't you let the monsters up north handle it? Oh. Well, alright. Thank you, I guess. Let's stop by here and see if they get anything to say. Yep. On a wing of bat. Yeah, sure. Oh, Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Sounds good to me. Yep. Plain clothes, what garbage. Why do people never put anything good in their uh, wardrobes, you know? Just so people could steal them. She's not even thinking. Already some new enemies. Well, I mean, they said that the enemies would be stronger, but, you know. Hey, what's a Blinkster doing here? They don't deserve to be here, this is a new area. Oh, well, that's new. That's like my egg on move. Alright, fine, Olaf. You do it. Keep reminding me how much minstrels are terrible. It's a shame it takes me so long to change my vocation. Alright. You can see map of the area, and that town all the way up there is our destination. So, let's keep going. Of course, battling new monsters in the way doesn't hurt, just to show off kind of uh, monsters in the locale. Oh, well, okay. Hmm. 
Yikes, Olaf actually taking some uh, damage. Gonna have to be careful and heal up. Another new enemy. Multiple new enemies, alright. I was hoping Olaf would kill him first. Man, Rudolph can kill anything. And Olaf's finishing off any of the monsters I attack. Olaf, your AI is not that good. You're trying to get all the kills for yourself, man. Make me look bad, yo. Alright, hopefully, no more new monsters while I get to town so I can. Oh, never mind. These guys, besides like Tropagel, which no one knows, is like my friend's favorite monster. The Chariot Taps. And they are pretty funny looking. Pretty cool guys. Shame they weren't like Joker 2. Oh, rowdy monsters. Alright, just a little more longer, and we're here. To the town of Coffinwell. It does not look happy. Hmm. Well, before we deal with the troubles of this town, the first thing I want to do... Let's see, we got 6.8k. I don't remember if I deposited any money at the bank, but I wanted to check out the weapon and the armor shop. Eh? Anything over there? Nothing? Huh. Okay. Open weapon shop. What do you sell? Okay. Iron Broadsword, much better for Roto. And an Oaken Pole, much better for Olaf, so I think I will indulge myself. Get Roto the new sword. And get Olaf the new staff. Nope, I am good for now. Now check out the armor. Alright, we got a shell shield. It's not a bad price, buy that. Guess that's the only convenient thing about um Oh, off not being able to use shields. I get a new helmet. Nothing new for Olaf. Okay, now I get a few new items. 70, 71. You can't wear anything else. So... The garish garb looks kind of stupid, so I'm going to buy the white t-shirt for Olaf. Get let's see, bronze armor or iron curious. Eighty four, eighty six is oh, that's the best item for now. Or well, since I'm only gearing up two people, it's uh, a bit easier to buy all the best gear for them for the time being. Okay, now we got. Deafness, I don't care about Ferrero, but I guess I'll upgrade Olaf's. Give him some deafness. Deafness helps with like crits and stuff, so it definitely doesn't hurt. And then I can get 
Iron kneecaps for Roto. And Iron Sabadons for Roto. So Roto's definitely meddled up. Not really much for Olaf to wear though. I get what I'm doing. I guess I shouldn't have bought those after all. Put his defense back at 70. Yeah, he looks kind of silly with the kill, but better than the garish garb. Right, uh, I mean, they're both looking funky, but what you gonna do? Anyways, I'm probably geared up. So, as for exploring the town and finding out what its problems are, that's for the next episode. So, I will catch you guys then. Take care. Till next time, everybody.